As a comedian desperate for any kind of material to fill up your lame act, this must be Christmas for you. <laughs> I don't understand why anybody would actually follow him a second time. You know what I mean? Like, if I walked into a deli and then the guy who owns the deli unsolicitedly show me his <laughs> I wouldn't go back to that deli. You know what I mean? <laughs> show me your once, shame on you. Seat-to-seat uh, -seat flirtation will catch on in the Greyhound buses that you use to travel from gig to gig in your lowly career. Well, it already happens, you know? I mean, there was one time recently I was taking a Greyhound bus and, uh, and uh, uh, somebody from the front sent me a, uh, a jar of hot urine. And it was really, and so I was like, who is this mysterious person who sent this to me? And uh, it turns out he was a really nice guy. Yes. <laughs> uh, I just want to address something real fast. Uh, uh, would, uh, Ambassador Bolton acted very shocked and surprised when Bill mentioned cocaine, like he had no idea what was going on. But folks, that's not a mustache. <laughs> uh, can I just say about this video that I think we need a palate cleanser. You can't have Michael Douglas and Matt Damon in, the, in a thing together after the last time I saw them. They were involved in bathtub shenanigans and whatever that gay Elvis movie they just did was. Uh, uh, Jesse, do you think um, these guys are going to stay in touch? They, they, they also, bonded. They also gave him half a hat to eat. Was that. Uh, by the way, you know, the you to make fun of the way I am dressed considering that you're dressed like you're going to go dye Easter eggs in a glory hole. Um, I don't even know what that, that means. I don't either, but that's really foul. It, it was a Springsteen sign. Glory really hole. Good. Uh, <laughs> was good. Anyway, look. If there's, if there's one thing that can be said about wedding dress wearing, thrice divorced, drunk driving <laughs> convict, and three times spousal abuser and drug addict Dennis Rodman, <laughs> it's that he has fantastic judgment. Yes, <laughs> Jesse, couldn't this destroy a marriage? <laughs> oh, totally. It's going to be awful. You know, they're going to have conversations like, no, look, I don't want you to do a routine airlock biohazard waste dump. I want you to want to do a routine <laughs> airlock biohazard waste dump. Yeah. It's so true. You know, it's gonna be awful. Uh, when they have a communication problem, Houston's going to have to determine whether it's with the long-range transmitter or the fact that he doesn't listen. Come on. <laughs> See what I did? That's a good joke. Uh, do you believe that wine, the whole idea of wine tasting is crap? I totally do. I mean, it's like, it's just for alcoholics with a douchey vocabulary. That's all that it is. Because I used to be, you know, I'm a recovering alcoholic. Yeah. And back in the day, I used to do the same dumb thing. I would just be like, hmm, the Syrahs is delightful. It <laughs> opens with a light insouciance of autumn and ends with impregnating a waffle waitress. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. If only it did. <laughs> robust, robust and whimsical. It goes great with salmon and fist fights with state troopers. <laughs> I'd like to start off with uh, Tucker. And uh, Tucker, I just wanted to say that uh, the last time you were on, you'd made some comment about my shirt. And I so did. then I fired back and said that you look like a uh, middle aged Dennis the Menace if he'd grown up to be a gay dentist. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to come on tonight. <laughs> and uh, remind everyone how funny that was. <laughs> you know, I think you've been at Maxim too long. I don't think that would be as sexy as you're imagining it to be. <laughs> no, let's watch so. a rerun of According to Jim instead. I mean, what, would be more, what would be more entertaining? I don't know. You know, what you know I think the first season. Uh, okay. well, no, what I think is interesting about According to Jim is that the title is vaguely biblical. Yes. But it the is? existence of the show is proof that there's no God. <laughs> I think that's interesting.